Trigger finger, which is also called stenosing flexor tendon synovitis, is caused by impingement of the flexor tendons. It could affect any of the fingers, and it can affect multiple fingers at the same time. Clicking or popping that occurs with manipulation of the finger can be palpated on physical examination. The finger may also get locked when in a flex position, however this may not occur every time when repeated. And for some patients, the finger can get stuck in a flex position overnight and slowly unlock during the day. Tenderness and nodularity may be noted over the palmar aspect of the metacarpal phalangeal joint in the palm. The pain may be exacerbated by passively extending the affected finger. There is usually full range of motion, but if pain results in disuse, then it can lead to contracture. Diagnostic tests, such as radiographs, are often ordered but are generally unnecessary. Injection of a local anesthetic into the flexor tendon sheath can result in complete pain relief and confirm the diagnosis, but is only needed in more complicated cases, such as in patients with coexisting Dupuytren's contracture. Conservative therapy with splinting and NSAIDs is the initial recommended therapy for all patients. But if conservative therapy fails, then glucocorticoid injections into the flexor tendon sheath are attempted. Although highly effective, surgery is generally recommended only when conservative therapy and glucocorticoid injections have not led to sufficient improvement.